Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a daily reading. And by God, I hope the reading over here it turns out to be better than the reading on my other channel. It was over the top. Just, oh, oh, my God. All right. It, just ridiculous. And it, it, it told itself three times. And so we know that when Jehovah's bringing a thing out, he's going to bring a thing out. Had to pause my camera to fix the lighting here. So uh, we're going to look at the next 24 hours. And we can't take away from the energy that was coming off on that other reading that it just did. But the devil was there three times. People, it was there three times. Somebody's dealing with somebody's got a mental problem. And somebody from possibly high school or it's connected to your, your parents or it was a six of cups. So it's somebody from your past. And somebody's nasty. And um, that talk about real hard restrictions. Somebody's really under judgment for um well, that bestiality thing came out again. It's huge. And then, it's, it's anyway, I'll speak down below, people. If you, if you want to watch it, you can watch it. And just brace yourself. But we're looking at the next 24 hours, and somebody needs to be careful because the devil is, he don't play nice. This person's lost their ever-loving mind, and they're gross, okay? Whatever they've done, they've done some really gross things to somebody. And um, you just need to brace yourself. So, anyway... If you are new, my channel is extremely intense and we don't hold back. We want to know what's around us, people, because we've got to get in the spirit. We've got to fight this thing. Uh, the, the battle does belong to Jehovah, and he brought that out. And uh, something's just uh, real hardcore around some people, okay? And some of y'all are dealing with some hardcore bosses that are just sitting there. And they just, they're, they're, they're just, my God over you or you're dealing with co-workers like that i'm not sure but um, i'll put that down below for you if you want to watch it uh if you are returning welcome back happy birthday happy anniversary and all of that kind of stuff as well let's just get in here you hold please show me for the next uh you know i started to um shuffle and the cards just began to just come out man and it was it was just huge whoever's energy i was picking up were on that channel um my God, the, the, you know, was really showing it, showing who they were, what they were, their nastiness and everything else really came out. Um, but anyway, Jehovah, I just thank you for clarifying the messages. We just, in, in Jehovah's name, we rebuke every foul, demonic, Satanist type of energy, every bestiality, anything that is so gross, we just command it to be shoved down to the lower parts of the earth. Jehovah, I just thank you for your protection. We are not ignorant of the devil's devices. He cannot have us. So we have the Page of Cups coming out here. And uh, the Page of Cups is a message. It's an announcement. It's a surprise type of energy. Uh, it's children and teenagers. And you need to sit down and have a conversation with your kids. This is unconditional love as well. And, you know, if somebody also can get a divine grace within something today, then that's, then that's great. Um, but, you know, the Six of Cups that was shown in that reading, uh, you know, that's people coming back around. Okay, somebody can come back around and, it, you know, because uh, I'm going to take away from that energy because it, it, it was for the next 24 hours, okay? Um, this can be real seducing type of energy with the page, okay? It's watery stuff. It can be confusing because it goes to the 12th house, Okay. Um, it's very creative. It's very creative. But if that's a seducing energy and somebody just mental in their mind, because that that inner, that, that 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 house goes back to um, confusion in the mind. Okay, there was somebody who had a mental problem that came out on that reading. Uh, so for some of you all, you really need to listen to your intuition. But there is messages coming, and uh, this is real sweet type of energy if it's in the upright. Okay, only you know who you are. Are and what's around you and what's going on in your life and, and all that kind of stuff. This is somebody, uh, for, some of you, for some of you all connected to that other reading, is from your past, okay? All right. Uh, we had the word uh, sheep come up and, so, and then the word underneath that was veil. Somebody's veiled and clothed in something. This person's got, uh, you know, something clothed over them, okay? Somebody is, uh, actually the Eight of Cups showed itself in that reading as well. Somebody's just desiring to walk away from something because something is known. 
about some stuff, okay? Um, the sun is here, okay? Well, the sun is bright, and today for the cardinal fixed immutable signs, the sun came out on this day. The sun right now is in Capricorn, where they hold that devil card in the, um, in the deck. Now, um, Capricorns are normally very, very hardworking people, okay? But that's in the negative of what was coming out. There was somebody in the negative that's under the sun. And everybody has all the stuff in their chart. So I'm not picking on any sign because we all are made up of this stuff. Um, the, the, the sun is there, though, right now. Hardcore energy is around us, people. And we've got somebody here who's wanting to walk away from something. There's some type of a surprising message coming, and somebody is traveling forward, but they are covered up. It's, it's also something right up in your face as well with the sun, okay? And this is a forcible overthrow. This is governmental things as well. It's pride and ego. It's fame and glory. If you are dealing with somebody that's in the spotlight or you know somebody is or something like that, something's just overturned just like that. At. with the force it's a bright future though for somebody for the next 24 hours something is just like boom for us and that's positive because Jehovah always tells us something before it happens but there is some type of an announcement here and uh, yeah there's a there's been a bad oppression we've seen the ten of uh, swords in that other reading and I clarified the ten of swords and the devil came out on it and the devil was already there and uh, it was really hardcore energy people it really was and so somebody's been oppressed somebody's neck has been dislodged for some of y'all or at least feels that way if you are new some of this energy obviously for some people is going to be physical some is going to just be energetic it's going to be emotional or mental for some other people so however this is, has played out for you or is playing out for you in the next 24 hours that'll be according to your character and what uh, is going on there's some type of messages here either already has come has made somebody walk away because something just boom right up in your face and overturned something and it's causing oppression okay or it or, or it's over. It's over. I'm going to say it's freaking over. we got somebody walking away. And the sun, when it's out, you know something and it's turned and a 10 is an ending. Show me this page. Maybe this is your child. Something's happened with your child because of pride and ego uh, situations. But something is going to... Um, turn out okay because the sun is the most positive part of the deck and it's nice to end this crap this oppression it's got the, got the freaking end it just got the end this is children really big coming out here love and romance but somebody's covered over i'm not taking away from those words that came out on that screen show me the page show me the message now the page of swords was there in that reading and that shows in this deck somebody's fake in their communication because somebody's freaking backstabbing they just are and they revealed okay uh, the sheep's in uh, whoops and sheep's clothing probably given what the crap that energy was show me the the page please you hold on what's this message because there definitely are messages today people show me this page please Some of this stuff. There's, there's stubbornness here. I command for the truth to come to the surface right here, right now, on this message, and it will be revealed. It will be revealed. We will know about it, and not one person will be harmed by it. Well, yeah, there, there's, there's the five of wands is here. There's strife. Yes, there is strife here, people, and there's there's community here. We got. The Three of Cups is soulmate stuff going on. we got the King of Wands here. Okay, well, and this is the other man and stuff like this. Seducing energy, people. And the Three of Wands is here. So we have two cards here of three. And then the Five of Wands is strife. And we see it right here. Okay, we see it right here. And somebody's sitting here contemplating something at work or something like that with the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, going on. So the king of wands will get up and take action. If he's in the upright, he will fight this thing and he will win and he'll smite with that. So I don't think so. You're not, you're not going to seduce me or something like that. Um, but obviously we do have some other passionate wands out here with other people. Uh, third parties, something's taking place possibly at a celebration for some of you all because the Three of Cups is a celebration. Okay, somebody wants to come back around and, and invite you to a celebration. Obviously, uh, we're coming out of um, 
uh, of the holidays and stuff like that and something may be announced about it, what's happened. Remember this Eight of Cups showed up in our holiday readings. Uh, I think it was around the New Year, right? Um, so somebody's sitting here trying to manifest their ideas and, um, wow. We got a lot of wands here. A lot of, we got the Ten of Wands, the Five of Wands, the King of Wands, the Three of Wands. And we've got some type of an announcement that's causing some strife. And there, it's, it's connected to your soulmates, people. It is. This is a soulmate card. Okay? Show me the Eight of Cups. Something very much known about something here. Well, something's known about somebody having... Okay, I'm just going to say it. Okay? You can click off my channel if you want. But I'm going to say what came out. Because we had... Yesterday, the same card came out on that channel about somebody um, was under judgment for bestiality. Now, we are in prophecy where people are taking the mark of the beast and becoming like beast as well. But the word sheep was there. And somebody, somebody has sex with sheep. Okay, now if that's a spiritual leader as well, and just a wolf in sheep's clothing energetically, and somebody's in some type, this is a spiritual leader with the king of wands, and somebody has sex with his sheep in his church then, okay? Just go say it, because it is, it's there, the energy is there, you cannot take away from it, and that stuff happens, and, and just last week, Jehovah was addressing a, um, a preacher as well, this is the other man, okay? That ain't gonna be for everybody, but we also do know that the scripture states that the church would be sitting on the freaking dragon, the dragon is a beast the dragon is referred to the devil that old serpent right and he's there and the word was hs a hiss was there and it went to sheep okay so it's all here it's nasty energy people and we just rebuke it we've got to do our part today and we're gonna have to do it in the spirit to to get this thing down because only you'll hold up uh you know can t take leviathan down somebody's freaking mental Show me the Eight of Cups. Sorry about my phone going out. So the Nine of Cups. Go, going to get Nine Cups, a wish fulfillment, or somebody's a freaking narcissist because they are covered up here. Show me the Nine of Cups. This is an overindulgent energy, or it's showing that something did happen on, you know, on occasion where there was overindulging cups and people walked away and did something, and it's just there's a lot of cups here. I did a reading last night on those combos, and there was um, one of those readings had all kinds of cups everywhere as well in the same space. Yeah, it was in the space in the same card, so this is it. Um, yeah, somebody is real. Uh, they can't get over the past for some people. They need an alignment. Somebody from your your it, it is it, it is somebody that you know from your past as far as maybe your home or a spouse or somebody you went to high school with or something like that. There's a death around something, and uh, it's, it's emotional. This person's probably a real heavy overindulger. Um, somebody moved house because of something. You're dealing with this. somebody getting up today, possibly walking on because it's just so freaking emotional here. Somebody really, both these cards are contemplating cards as well. Um, obviously, we know that there's been a lot of people that's died, but somebody's just, my God, they are, they won't even look up at this cup right here. Somebody just really just in their mind because there's something mental here. Something's very much emotional here. And, uh, and look at all the cups. A pregnancy issues for a lot of you all. Show me that, but something will turn out for good. It will. Okay. Uh, what, whatever the strife is, there will be a one war. Because Jehovah's going to win it. This oppression's got to stop. Somebody did die. Somebody, for some of you all, somebody got their head dislodged because that is prophecy as well. And so we do have um, something inspirational here. The Ace of Wands. This is also a conception um, today as well at the end of the day. There's something very spiritual going on here. It is very spiritual, people. This is, um, I always bring it out in the runes. This is going to be a assured success here with this um, torch. Um, but it is, it's also fortune and inheritance as well showing up for the next 24 hours. But it's being clarified on the sun. So if obviously somebody's got some pride and ego going on because there's freaking strife here by some type of seducing energy or surprise kind of message coming out that's caused a big heart oppression here because uh, the, the torch represents the truth. 
It has a meaning of the truth. And the sun's like, hello, here I am. It's in your freaking face. What you going to do about it? As somebody's just, I don't know, man. Show me, show me one more on this. The Queen of Pentacles is here and the King of Cups is here. Okay, so mothers and fathers, for some of you all, um, obviously we got, um, we got people here. We got the other man for some of you all. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, if she is not in the upright people, this person is jealous and stubborn and prideful. And if this king is not in the upright, he is manipulator. And uh, he's very intelligent at what he does. If he's in the upright, and this is going to turn out, those of you who are in the war, that's getting the victory because you're always going to give you the victory. This is love then. And um, there's going to be a new conception here within some type of inspirational thing. And somebody's going to get the victory over this nasty uh, that's coming out because the overall energy is oppression. Okay? There is a spiritual oppression here, the Six of Pentacles. And it, it's, it's over money for some of you all inheritances out of your own family okay somebody's freaking mental because this card came out like i said in what was hidden okay somebody walked away was covered up they're big indulger there's some type of a death here and somebody took somebody's inheritance on those combos and somebody stole something as well okay there's death issues around some people now and uh the the, the sun's up in your face in the next 24 hours on this crap and it's going to be positive because you hold Yeah, the battle belongs to you. Thank you, Yehovah. He's going to bring it out. He is going to bring it out. You just pick it, Yehovah. Um, garden and protection and uh, seed is here. Well, we have a conception here as well. There's there's a wall of protection around somebody. Yes, and Yehovah is our is our shield. He surely is our shield. Uh, the kitchen is here. <laughs> well, we had all that the cook and everything. Look, some people don't have no food because of idiots. Okay, some people have been put out and put in a little garden and we're going to use you. And I, I address that like I always do. Uh, there's a heavy drinker here. Yes, look at all the cups that are here. It's, it's here. I'm going to take two from here. You hope you just pick this. So we have the spider. We have the, um, <laughs> look, the spider and the lizard is here. And the veil that came out goes right back to perverse lizard in the Hebrew. That's amazing how you have a bring a thing out. We have the king's palace. And in the scripture it states that uh, spiders are found in king's palaces and things like that. We have kings here as well. But we, we got something nasty. But the um, the spider web. And we got the web and the internet energy here. And we know that people are doing stuff on the internet. And collecting other people's money. And they don't give a rip that you don't have nothing in your, in your cupboards. And it's all your money. And they stole your inheritances. And they know you're hungry. But boy, they're just living high on the hog because they don't have no feeling about them. Okay, that's what this freaking strife is. And they're having sex with animals and everything. It's because they're freaking beasts and a half. And they're nasty. And they're going to give it up because they're at our heel. Jehovah gave us the... Uh, the Jehovah gave us the... Um, Authority. So we've got the skull here. That's incredible. Because the spider is at the heel... And the skull is the head. And somebody's going to get their freaking head crushed now for what they freaking did. Because this is dislodging a head, right? And they're going to reap what they sow. And it's right up in your freaking face, people. It really is. The battle belongs to Jehovah. Jehovah, please get up today and slaughter this nasty uh, beast for your people. Because it really does belong to you. This heavy drinker is going down really hard. And let us all know about it today. Remember, we had death all over the place in those uh, cardinal fix and mutable sign readings. This is somebody that you know or maybe it's your ex or something but there, there there's a lot of people involved in some stuff and this stuff is going to stop it is going to stop it could be somebody you work with I don't, yeah you know in the air and the fire reading that's where the cooks that all that cooking stuff come out this person's a cannibal okay uh the snake was told that it, it would um you know, eat dust, and, and people are made out of dust, right? And so they say, but some people are made out of the rock and hewn right out of the rock, and we get to crush them with our heel, okay? So you just go ahead and think you can do what you're going to do. You're a nasty beast and a half, and Jehovah's going to take your head now.